throwing bricks and lighting trash on fire to express their anger. A street battle erupted between Hong Kong police and hundreds of protesters on Tuesday. A riot that began after police tried to clear out unlicensed vendors who traditionally sell food from stalls during the Chinese New Year. The sellers and gathered crowds responded in anger, saying the government's been trying to strip the semi-autonomous city of its local traditions. Dozens of police officers and civilians were injured. And the leader of Hong Kong condemned what is the worst violence the city's seen since pro-democracy protests in 2014. We will never tolerate riots, and the police will spare no effort to arrest the rioters. I would also like to deliver my condolences to the police officers and news reporters injured in the riots. More than a year after the end of the pro-democracy protests, many residents are still highly distrustful of local authorities and Beijing, and what they see as their tightening grip on Hong Kong's democratic system. Anger and resentment remain prevalent, even during the region's most celebrated holiday, the Chinese New Year.